Hey everybody, I have a really small haul, a card I wanted to share with you, and some burlap flowers that I was working on. So, um, just to do, start real quick, um, I had to make a card, like a western theme or a horse card. And um, I did have one stamp already. I had this one here, and it was seemed more for a girl. I needed it for a guy. So, I remembered that I seen these stamps at Michael's. So, last night I ran out and used a 40% off coupon and picked up um, this stamp set. So, I'm sure that I'll get some use out of it. Um, I'll make a couple of different cards and everybody likes horses so these are so pretty. So I picked that up I think it was $9.99 and then 40% off coupons. So but um, we are memory keepers. They had their paper pads and um, page protectors and some books and stuff on clearance and I got these um, paper pads on clearance for $1.79 and um, so they're double sided card stock and uh, I'm getting glare from my light trying to see so really cute papers, nice thick cardstock. So these will be perfect for making cards. And um, so that picked up that one. And I know I don't have the best lighting. I have this in a 12 by 12 already. And um, like I said, when you're making cards, the 12 by 12 is just it's usually the scale is too big. So this will be perfect for making some cards, and they're all school themed. So some cute papers. So I think my favorite is like these test ones where you had to fill in with the little pencil, fill in the little dots. <laughs> so I got that one. And then this was the last one. Um, had some little boy and girl baby papers in it. So so for buck seventy nine, that was a pretty good deal. So I couldn't pass that up. So I got those. And then um, this is the card that I made. My girlfriend asked me to make her a card for her brother's birthday. And um, there's the stamp that I used. I put it on a corrugated cardboard. Um, this is a Tim Holtz clock stamp. I just stamped that and cut that out. This is a paper tray ink um, die. I forget from their tiny tags, I think. So I stamped, punched out that star and stamped it. So I uh, put some twine through there. Um, leather strapping and then Tim Holtz buckle. And just layered some papers. I wanted to sew it on my sewing machine, but I never have luck with that. So I just roughed up the edges. I did have a stamp that um, makes it look like it's stitching. So I just tried that on the brown paper there. I was afraid to use it all over. So this is the front of the card. And then the inside is just finished off plain with a happy birthday. So she was really thrilled with it. I already sent her a picture, so she got to see it. So... Um, Gonna make a couple more because she said that um, she's gotta have one for her sister-in-law, which is his wife, and they both like horses. So I'm gonna make one that's a little more girl-themed. And then she said he also likes jeeps, so I do have a jeep stamp. So I'm gonna try to make a card with a jeep on it and kind of let her pick what she wants, or she can have them both. So so that's my card. And then I was working on these burlap flowers. Um, someone did a tutorial. I do have some burlap that you cut, and um, but this I already had and. Um, the pink one and I already had this ribbon and I really haven't been using it so it was um, it came from Michael's Mel picked me up a couple of colors and um, I was able to find some more so I've just I was decided to use this and see how they would turn out so um, I just used my circle punch and punched out um, a cardboard circle or cardstock circle and then just went around the edge of it um, I just started laying a bead of glue right around the edge and then just ruffled it, went around and around until it was all filled in. So these are the ones I came up with. Um, I think they're cute. I don't know. I'm not sure if, what I'll use them on. I just wanted to give it a try. So but so those are my burlap flowers. I do want to try a couple other methods though with the other burlap that I have. So but that's it for today guys. I just wanted to share these couple of quick things with you. Um, if you have any questions or comments just leave them below and I'll get back to you. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.